Some days my job can be very pleasant, like when J.L. Simmons came aboard for his weekly aqualung lesson. He was a wealthy toy manufacturer and could afford a lot fancier hobbies, but he loved acting. Patty and I always looked forward to his visits, until this day's lesson, which would prove to be his last. where the prince comes riding up to the castle? Well, that's the picture. Sleeping Beauty is lying fast asleep on the couch. Through the window, the prince rides up to the castle on his white horse. Charger! Of course, Patty, Charger. That picture is the one in the living room, facing the street. As I remember, my father gave that to me when I was seven years old. Owning a toy factory like your father did must have been a lot of fun for you. Oh, it was. Yeah, I got a new toy every week. And the picture windows, well, they were for special days. Mr. Simmons? Yes, Patty? Could you tell me about my special favorite again? The Rumpelstiltskin window? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, now, let me see, Patty. Are you sure we have that one? You know very well. It's in the old workshop. Why, of course it is. Well, now, that picture shows Rumpelstiltskin in a screaming rage because the beautiful little princess was able to pronounce his name. And he's so furious, he stamps the ground with his foot so hard that it sticks. And when he tries to pull it out, he pulled himself right in two. And the princess didn't have to give him her baby and lived happily ever after. Lived happily ever after. Any special instructions for today? You don't need any more instructions. This is a test. Let's see how much you'll remember. Take a compass bearing on that island. We'll work toward that, but stay away from the shore, huh? Well, Patty, you think I'll be able to pass my test for my diploma today? Oh, sure. You're a good scuba diver for a... A fat man? Well, I didn't mean it. Oh, never mind. I know what you meant. <laughs> Sweetheart, this is a magic ring. Now, while you're wearing it, you wish anything that you want. But it's only good for one wish. I wish? Oh, not out loud. Just think it real hard. Okay. Got it? I've got it. I jumped in, followed by Simmons. The big man was a strong swimmer, and he powered his way through the water like some huge sea animal. He was in a playful mood, and started an underwater tag game with Patty, trying to catch her. His ponderous strength was no match for her quickness and agility, and she kept slipping away from him. It was a game that was fun to play, and fun for me to watch. Patty made a quick turn to get away from Simmons. He plowed straight ahead. I swam the joint, Patty. All at once, I was aware that Simmons was nowhere in sight. Patty and I began to search for our missing pupil. We covered the ocean bottom the best we could, but it's a big ocean and a lot of things can happen underwater. We kept it 
the search until our air began to run low. Then we surfaced, hoping that the fishermen in the area had seen him. Ahoy! Ahoy! Did you see a diver come up? Nope. Only the two of you. Let's radio the Coast Guard. Then I'll get down and have another look. Okay, Captain. Come on. sent Patty aboard the lively lady and went over every crevice and every coral reef that I might have missed before. Thanks of air later, I had to admit that further search was useless. Somehow I had lost my pupil. 